All right, here is Bitches. I know I was behind on this. Sorry. A good number of requests. There's always a backlog. So, with Bitches, I think I've already shown how the longer term perspective shows in that this is wave one, two, and this is one of three, two of three, and sooner or later, three of three will be arriving. So we're on a daily chart, Colonix price feed to the dollar. I was also asked in comments, I'm quite often asked this in the comments, why do I just do mostly USD analysis? Well, um, primarily I trade to the dollar. I know many people have an objective of trading to the BTC so that at the end of the day they end up with as much more BTC possible. It's a good objective, but I think it can also be attained <clears throat> and maybe a little more profitable by doing it to the USD. Let me explain why. When you trade to the dollar, you have only one variable. That is the demand or supply and demand for the coin. The dollar remains constant. When you trade to the BTC pair, you now have two variables. The demand for the coin and the changing rate of Bitcoin itself. This is why usually when Bitcoin is rising, when Bitcoin is rising, the USD pair moves much more in advance, much more before than the BTC pair. This is because the BTC pair <clears throat> has to have it so that the supply or the demand rather for its coin has to exceed the rate of change of Bitcoin rising. So it really has to work. There is no rate of change in the USD pair for the US dollar component. The only change in the US dollar pair is the demand for the coin. So you can, and I've said this in many posts in it before, and I'm probably saying it again as the time comes, you can actually use probably the USD pair as a leading indicator to the BTC pair. And if you use the USD pair and you gain a lot of profit in the USD pair and you take your profits and if you want to convert that to be Bitcoins, what do you have? More Bitcoins. The other question will be, well, what if there is no USD pair available to buy on any exchange for that coin? No problem. Do your analysis on the USD pair and buy it at whatever it is at the BTC pair using BTC and if the US chart says to sell and take profits maybe at the top of wave 3, 503 or 505 no matter what the BTC chart says take your profits your proceeds would still come in BTC and just convert that to USD where do you convert that to USD? I would never convert it to Tether I would convert it to BitUSD on the Polon oh. Bid USD on the bit shares exchange or US dollars on the GDAX. Yes, that'll have tax implications on the, on the GDAX account. So it's completely a choice that you need to make on your own where you convert to the dollar or to the tether or to bid USD. All right, so having said that, I'm going to draw a pattern here. So, in this downward pointing uh, wedge, there is 
a clear clear potential for this to have a b c d and e one more lower low And yes, there is a potential for the price to go to 9 or 10 cents, rather. And this correction is still very bullish. And this lower low will bring the price close to the apex now this is one of the a b c d e potentials in pattern the other is similar but not exact a little bit different. Showing that the breakout has already occurred because this was an ABC. And if this is a breakout, this is one and two is being worked on. And that would then have the complementing, complementing similarity to what Litecoin and just what every other coin might be showing right now. And if we look at that in a little more detail, I had already discussed how this could be a wave one, two, three, four, oops, How the five wave impulse could be drawn out. And that how the correction was more of an expanded flat. Looking like that. And the one, two, three, four, five of the C is pretty much well complete. And you get a lot of sub waves. Can get look a little messy, like so. So, in this case, if the ABC is done, we need to see some impulsing upwards to finish this three. And that could potentially be like one, two could come down a little lower, three, four, and five.
And if you get that, the wave two, now if wave two makes a new low low, that's not possible, then we need to shift down one, two, three, four, wave five down to low low. There is that potential as well. At least to keep into awareness. Let's see what happens during the day. And I, my top coin, one of my top coins is this, Steam as well. I think they are more mature in the waves than the other coins, in that they have already started one of three and two of three, while most of the other coins have not even started wave three, but are still working on wave two. I'll go into a little more detail on that later as well. All right. I hope this has been helpful. Thank you.